just with everything you guys have been through the last couple of weeks, how how fun was that to get out there and, and be able to play and play as well as you did? Um, that was that was uh you know that was all the work that we put in, man. Um, you know all the hours of you know just pushing each other and you know just you know just trying to get better, man. It, you know it, it paid off. You know what I mean? And although we had it, uh, you know I think it was sixteen days. Um, you know, that we had to get through, man, you know, it, those, those hours showed up, man, and, you know, to see it, you know, manifest, um, you know, just, just makes this win even better. Um, but at the end of the day, we 4-0, we, we got um, a lot of games left, and, you know, it's early, it's still early, so we just got to continue to have that growth mindset and, um, you know, look forward on to the next game. Luke? Johnny, we hear you guys talk a lot about the belief that you guys have in each other and, and how much mental toughness there is on this team. You're 4-0 right now. A lot of things have gone well for you. It, do you kind of think the sky's the limit for this team? I mean, I know you don't want to talk about record expectations or anything like that, but how how high is the limit for this team right now? We just, we just, we just believe in each other, man. You hit it on money. That's all we do. We just believe and uh, trust, you know, that – uh, you know, we're we going to play our, ourselves for, for that guy next to us, man, for this entire organization. You know, that, that's, that's what it come down to, man, just, um, you know, having passion, having love for, for, for what we do and caring about the guy next to you, um, you know, the success within that. Ryan said that you basically only got one non-walkthrough practice in over the last two weeks. What was it that allowed you guys to – have the fast start and play as cohesively as you did despite that? We, um, you know, we uh, just took advantage of, of what we could do, um, you know, whether it was, you know, meetings, you know, virtually, and, um, you know, just trying to, you know, take advantage. We, we, we are, you know, elite athletes, man. You know, we're going to run fast. We're going to be strong. We're going to jump high. You know, that's, that's, that's what we've been doing all our entire lives. And, you know, we, we're, you know, the best at it, you know what I mean, when we're playing at this level. So, um, you know, I'm, we knew that that would be here. You know, it's just, you know, being together and just getting everything on the same page is, it was a little tougher because we couldn't do that physically. But, um, you know, we just, uh, you know, actually, you know, those days, you know, got a lot of guys got healthy during those days as well. And, um, you know, just doing what we can do at home, you know, just we're, we're professionals and, it's, you know, we got to be self-motivated. So, um, you know, just to be self-driven and, you know, get what you can get in at home and just knowing that, you know, we got to prepare for a game. And, uh, you know, a lot of guys, you know, play at this level for a long time, so we know what that requires, man. So we just uh, do what we can do. Andrew? Yeah, you say, you know, to be self-motivated, but but how much was the exterior stuff, you know, the stuff you were hearing, a lot of doubts, a lot of anger around the league with all this going on? I mean, did that really serve as, as motivation? Uh, uh, you just block it out, man. I mean, Everybody got their ways of, of dealing with things. Um, honestly, man, I didn't even pay attention to what was going on in the media. I just, I just know it wasn't good things. You know what I mean? Um, whether it be good things or bad things, and I just, and me as a player, as my, like myself, man, I just try to, you know, block all that stuff out because, uh, you know, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's not good for you, for your mindset. You know what I mean? People try to write you off, or, you know, and, and it may not be as bad as it is, and people try to. Um, you know, amplify you may not be as good as it is. So I just try to keep it even killed, man. And, um, you know, go out there and play the game that I love and play with passion. You know what I mean? Doing this since I was four or five years old. And I um, still got that same love and passion that I had then. So um, don't, don't get me wrong. I appreciate the, the love and support from our fans, man. We got a great, um, you know, support system in this city, in the state. You know what I mean? In this whole, you know, southern area. So um, I definitely, we definitely appreciate that. Um, you know, it was great to have, but, you know, I just blocked that stuff up. Last question, Jim. Hey, John, no, just how much were guys chomping at the bit just to get out there and play after having two games rescheduled? And do you feel like this team is playing with a little bit of a chip, a little bit of a chip on its shoulder? We just always been that team, man, that we <laughs> – that's just been our identity. We're not flashy, you know what I mean? We're not – you know, we, we probably, uh, you know, not the team that's going to get all the primetime games, but, you know, we just find a way to win games. Um, it may look ugly, maybe about one point, two points. You know, we get it done, man, and, and that's just what we preach. Um, so, 
Um, you know, we, we just pride ourselves, man, on just being that team that establishes a culture in the locker room and, um, you know, live on that and just, uh, you know, believe in each other. And you've got five touchdowns in, in four games. How good does that feel and, and how good does it feel to be making such a big contribution on this team? It feels great to continue to um, be a contributor to this team, to this offense, to this, to this organization. Um, and I'm just going to keep keep doing, you know, uh, what, I, what I've been doing and just continue to get better. Um, I got a lot of things I got to clean up, um, you know, and, you know, just some good things. You know, I just got to get, got to, you know, get the things that I didn't do so well cleaned up. And, uh, you know, we're just going to continue to have a good mindset. And on the way out, John, New, did you see Ryan's – landing on the touchdown celebration and you guys give him a little grief about that yeah yeah we told him don't don't do that again don't do that again man don't don't do that again you uh you, you scared us man and he ryan ryan is, is good for giving us a good scare i don't know because he think it's october halloween coming up or something he wouldn't scare us but no he, he gotta chill that out man we, we need you you know what i mean so just gave him a little bit of uh you know a little bit of hard tough love